Tonight, the family of a man who was missing, an autistic man, the family speaking publicly for the very first time since hearing this tragic news. Najib Juby Monsif was 20 years old when he went missing in September. Last week, Scottsdale police announced the discovery of his remains in a canal in Mesa. Fox 10's Justin Lum spoke exclusively to Juby's family. He's live now for the medical examiner's office with more. Justin. Ellen Christie, as you know, forensic analysis matched the DNA of the remains to Juby Monsif. Toxicology results are pending. And if you ask Scottsdale police, there are no signs of foul play. But Juby's family wants a closer look. They refuse to believe he got in the water on his own. You know, we're very grateful to have loved such a special person. Juby Monsif's family won't be celebrating his birthday on Wednesday. He would have turned 21. Scottsdale police announced last Tuesday that Juby's remains had been discovered the week prior at a canal pumping station near the Loop 202 and Power Road in Mesa. Juby's remains were um, extremely decomposed, um, skeletonized for the most part. Investigators said a pathologist could not determine any signs of foul play. Police believe Juby somehow ended up in the Central Arizona Project Canal near his Scottsdale home in the area of Via Linda and Frank Lloyd Wright. They say he died within hours of his disappearance during the early morning hours of September 23rd. His body ended up roughly 11 miles away. Juby's sister, Josephine. Three months later, with no evidence of anything, how do you get from that that there's no foul play and that he himself put himself in there? That just sounds like convenience to us. Within the first week of his disappearance, police searched the Cap Canal, scoured the neighborhood for surveillance footage, and used dogs to track Juby sent to a nearby Albertsons. The smell stops there. And if he did walk to that Albertsons from my father's house, there is no video, video footage of him walking there. Investigators confirmed there's no surveillance images of Juby, so how did he get onto CAP property? Police say Juby may have slipped through two fenced gates. Scottsdale PD did examine Juby's online gaming accounts and digital devices, saying they found nothing of concern. He did tell family members they would not see him again a day before vanishing. Juby's father wants clarity. Nothing's going to change in our case. Our misery is there now. Juby's not going to come back. But we don't want any other case similar to Juby. And we reached out to Scottsdale PD with specified questions. We are waiting for a response. Meanwhile, Juby's dad says he wants Arizona's Attorney General Mark Burnovich to investigate his son's case. Live at the medical examiner's office, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.